2025. Um, can I get a show of hands of how many bids from 2025 we've got who want to say something? One, two? Is that two? I'm waiting. I need you. <laughs> we have, I presume that's Pacific Northwest, and this is uh, Perth. Um, we're going to go with Perth first because they announced uh, officially to us that they've been doing this first. Great. Please come up. Um, so, the person who was supposed to be presenting has actually been programmed against this. So, he wrote to me in this morning and gave me his notes. <laughs> um, so, we're looking for Perth in 2025. Uh, it'll be the 50th anniversary of the longest running convention in the Southern Hemisphere, SwanCon, which I'm a previous convener of. Uh, I'm currently involved in the con scene in Melbourne, on the other side of the country. Uh, we haven't had a Worldcon in Perth before, so with our 50th anniversary of SwanCon coming up, we thought we might invite the entire world to come and celebrate with us. Thought it would be a great plan. Uh, at the moment, we're doing a very low-key pre-launch, just working things out. We're very focused on New Zealand in 2020 at the moment. Uh, we're looking to properly launch around 2019. Uh, possibly in 2020, uh, and for August of that year, which, as everyone's asking about the weather, thanks about that. Um, it's reasonably mild, uh, averages around 55 Fahrenheit, 13 Celsius, lows of 48, highs of 63, or 9 Celsius and 17 Celsius. I'm a Canadian living in Australia, so <laughs> nothing in Australia gets terribly cold for me. Uh, the venue that we're looking at initially is the Perth Convention Centre, the main theatre of which seats two and a half thousand people. Uh, the additional theatres have a thousand and five hundred seats, and there's a few other uh, smaller meeting rooms of around fifty seats. There's a backup venue that is being discussed at the moment, but they haven't been appro approached at all, so we're not going to talk about them. Uh, the venue is right in the Perth Central Business District. There are over 1,600 hotel rooms within a kilometre of the venue that we're looking at. There are no actual attached hotels. The closest hotel is 200 metres out the front door. And those are the highlights that I was told to talk about. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're mostly with, we're looking at not so much a Perth Worldcon, but an Australian Worldcon in Perth. Any questions? Hello? What is the public transportation like in Perth? There are free uh, buses around the Central Business District. There's a train station about... 500 metres from the front door of the convention centre that will get you onto the whole of Perth train stations. Um, and yeah, there's reasonable buses outside of that as well. Can you fly into Perth or do you have to? You can fly right this year, you can get a Dreamliner London to Perth. Uh, from the continental USA, you'd be looking at a stopover in Sydney or Melbourne currently but this is eight years down the track, so who knows? Hello. Other ways to get there instead of air from Sydney or Melbourne, like train, There's a, driving, rent a car? You can, you can drive. I have driven from Perth to Melbourne. Uh, it took three and a half days. Um, it's beautiful in the middle of the country, uh, and I wish I had spent several weeks doing that. There's trains that run from both Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, you're looking at a couple of days of travel to do that. And I believe there are buses, but I've never looked into those. Is there a backup venue also in Perth or a different Australian city? Uh, also in Perth. Um, slightly further outside of the city, but equally with a train station attached to it. I do not see any other hands. Thank you very much.